Today I'm sharing with you two Christmas cards. Tonight my niece is going to be in a production of The Nutcracker with her dance company, and I wanted to make her a card to give to her after the show. Originally she had asked me to make a card for her secret sister, because tonight they're going to be exchanging gifts, and she wanted it to have a nutcracker on it or something to do with a nutcracker. So I found this great nutcracker on the Christmas Solutions cartridge. He's cut at about four and three-fourths inches high, and I cut out all of the elements that come with it, like the crown, the beard, the mustache, the nose, the sword, all these little elements. I cut those all out in white. And then what I did, I just went ahead and I colored them with um, a Sharpie black marker. I have a gel pen around his belt buckle. And that just made it a lot easier instead of cutting them out a whole bunch of different times. The card does measure four and a quarter by five and a half. I also have two little little gems there. This pattern paper right here, both of these, those come from the Die Cuts with a View Christmas Combo Stack. And I just have a little bit of pink blush you can see on his little cheeks there. I'll have some close-up pictures as well. And on the inside of the card, the card for her friend, you know, that one says, Best of Luck. What I did for this card was I used my craft glitter and my Scotch Dry Adhesive, and I just used a toothpick and applied the glue where I wanted the glitter to go. And I just sprinkled the glitter right over the top. It's just a really basic craft glitter that I got at the Dollar Tree, actually. And before that dried, I went ahead and I used my glossy accents, and I just applied that right over the top of the glitter, and it sealed the glitter in really well, because I knew it was going to be going in and out of an envelope, and I didn't want it to be a glitter bomb and go everywhere when the person opened it. So it just, it also looks really nice. I know the glitter is not going to go anywhere, and it's going to stay that way forever. So here's a close-up of him. I have some vintage photo around the edges. So I think these cards turned out really cute and I can't wait to give mine to my niece and I know she'll be very excited for her secret sister to receive the other one. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you very soon.